Hi, I'm John Kuhn, and this is Vidalia City School News, an inside look at the happenings of the Vidalia City School System. Today, my guest is Vidalia High School Principal John Sharp. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Sharp. I know that uh, this is a busy time of year, not only for you, but for the school system, and that is why we are here today, to talk a little bit about those business. Prom season is upon us. Of course, that's coming up uh, this Friday night, but what we want to talk about is a little bit about graduation, which will be upon us before we know it. It's right here on Pontus, and it is uh, kind of our most special celebration. It is culminates all of uh, 13 years of school for many, all at Valley High School. So we want it to be a special occasion. And that's why we're here today to talk about uh, what you're going to do and what your staff is going to do to make this special. I guess the most important question is, what is the date of graduation? Friday, May the 27th, we'll start at 7.30 uh, with a ceremony. 7.30, and that will be at Buck Cravey Field. And uh, that brings us to our next question, okay. which is, uh, this year, uh, we're going to a ticket system. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about why we're going to a ticket system. Okay, well, we have always had ticket system. This is historically, going back 20 years ago, when they first moved out of the gym, they gave ticket system. Uh, it went anywhere between 6 to 14. A lot of times it depended on the number of graduates. Uh, mm -hmm. We started a, allowing people on the other side of the uh, stadium because we had more people coming in and uh, we still were going with 14. So we thought, I think it was 2018, we had the idea of why to worry about tickets. Let's go ahead and have, just don't worry with tickets, let everybody come in. Uh, the idea was great, we got everybody in, but uh, an unintended result was we had too many people. Uh, we had more people at graduation in 2019 than we had at the body of Toombs County football game that year. Mm. And a lot of times it was people that didn't want to be here. It was just a Friday night at lights, free event, and we had people that would wander in. They weren't as concerned with the ceremony and the uh, just uh, the dignified experience and wanting to honor all of our graduates because this is not a graduation for one individual student. It is the entire class of this year's 2022. So uh, because of the number of people that were there moving during the ceremony, mm -hmm. getting up while uh, people's names were called, we determined after that year that we would go back to tickets. Well, that was 2019. We had 2020, we COVID restricted us even more. So we went to fewer tickets. I think we went eight, then stretched it to 10 uh, in 2020. Last year we went 10 and stretched it to 12. And because there are no restrictions, we went to uh, back to the 14, which was the most that were allowed. Most of our students' families will be able to be accommodated by 14. We tell them in a meeting we have, if you have extra tickets, share with your classmates. Uh, we also allow our high school students do not need a ticket. So if you have a brother, sister, or friend that is a high school student, we'll give special in, uh, instructions for them where they can go in. And if you are a school employee of the Valley City uh, system, you will not need a ticket. Okay. All right. So that answers uh, the first two questions. 14 tickets yes. per graduate. Per graduate. So if you have a brother and a sister in the same graduating class, you get 28. 28. Okay. Good deal. Just want to clarify that. Yes. All right. So now, when will those tickets be distributed? We will give them the week of, uh, I think it's maybe the day before. I know all of that information. Uh, Jamie Sharpton and Anne Michelle Toole are our graduation coordinators. They followed the work that uh, Phyllis James and Jan Barfield did for years. And uh, both groups have worked really hard to make this a special event. They want it to be something that can, uh, where our students can be honored even the after graduation circle where we have the mm -hmm. uh, where they circle up have the uh, uh, class song played or even the little line they go through where we hug which we didn't do the last two years but where you'll hug the teachers those are little things that make it real special so uh, those the tickets will be given out the day before or maybe the day of the graduation so they can disseminate that get those out to the families that need them and this is not a this is not a punishment thing. This no, is, no, no, this no, is no. just trying to make this a little more special because, you know, it's like you said, uh, this is a honor uh, night, if you will, to honor the graduates, mm -hmm. to honor the class, and to make sure that everybody's name can be heard above some of the stuff that's going on in the past. Let's face it, I mean, we've had a lot of hollering, a lot of screaming, mm -hmm. a lot of talking and things like that, and the family's probably more aware of it than uh, a lot of people would realize, and, and it kind of, you know, keeping keeping a lid on it, if you will, 
helps us to be able to make sure it's the best possible way. You know, there's nothing uh, more than we would regret than having somebody get up in front of a family and stand up when their child receives their diploma or when their child his name is called to receive their diploma, which you you get that great honor of being able to call Absolutely. his name name out. Uh, but if they you call the name and then they don't hear that, that right, would be you know like missing that very special time. And we don't want that. We want it to be a dignified ceremony in which all families uh, can feel feel honored and uh, have a special memory. And I know one of the things that uh, I know this may get into a question later on, but we will uh, stream uh, the graduation ceremony on our. YouTube channel. Matter of fact, this year the plan is to have three different cameras going so they can see that and we're going to try our first production where they can shift from different cameras. So if you have family members that are out of town and can't come or maybe if you have a family member who um, you know, is feeling a little ill or under the weather, they can see those at home. But we're excited and want everybody, as many people as possible, to be a part of this. Alright, so in a nutshell, uh, each graduate will get 14 tickets. Mm -hmm. Uh, the reason for that is uh, to try to make sure we're doing this as uh, dignified as we can be, and they will be given out uh, at practice, I believe, the day before uh, the graduation, so Thursday of the Friday, uh, I believe that's what Yeah, it's one of those two out. days, and I know we'll, we'll get all of this information out on uh, our police your students get the information on uh, Google Classroom, but if they don't give you your, their Google Classroom, we get it on Instagram, Facebook, school website, Twitter. We tweet that that information is coming out, or you can call us. We try to get out that information in as many, way, many more ways as possible. Uh, arrive early. Uh, you know, it's a first come, first serve on seating. Uh, you can listen to your child tell you exactly which way they're going in, and you may be position your seating according to that. Uh, gates will be closed once graduation starts because we don't need to have a late arriving crowd. And I know uh, uh, invariably there will be some people that will get upset about that. But we, uh, we, I think it's, we've been in the last couple of years, we started closing the gates at uh, 725 because they start that processional a little early. Uh, and, you know, so just arrive early. Uh, we will have water that we will sell for folks uh, because of the heat and pray for good weather. We don't want a, a rain. And I can tell you, as far as our rain, people have asked this about it, what we would do. If we were to have uh, bad weather, if it were to be really bad, we could make the call as early as possible. We will try to hold out if we have a summer shower. Uh, but the rain follow-ups will be Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, or Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, and then Sunday evening if we had to postpone it. So we do have those contingency planned in, in case of bad weather. All right, so keep your uh, fingers crossed. Yes. A lot of prayers for good That's weather. That's right. All right, thanks for joining us. We appreciate Thanks, the information and hope that uh, you will uh, take this information and uh, make sure that you have it handy for your decisions. Thanks for joining us.